Because nobody's talking about the 4.5 million people gap of talent that we will have in 2020. Alethea Asin Perez is the CEO and co-founder of Livellium, a wireless sensor hardware provider. Alicia is an advanced computer engineer, an IoT expert and winner of the Spanish National Young Entrepreneur 2014. She joins us now on Cloud Moves TV. Alicia, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Real pleasure to have you on. Well, my pleasure. Now, big question to open up with. Um, are we destroying the economy by allowing artificial intelligence and other robots to take over the general workforce? Well, I would say we are just changing that. Um, I remember I was reading uh, an article a couple of weeks ago and it was saying that when the type machines evolved to the computers and we were able to, to write by ourselves everything, uh, there were people losing their jobs, but graphic designers' position increased by 30%. So it's not about the jobs that we are destroying, it's that we are in a constant evolve. And to that extent, I think that the real question is, are we ready for that challenge? Because nobody's talking about the 4.5 million people gap of talent that we will have in 2020 if we don't have enough engineers and enough people skilled in data analytics, uh, software programming and hardware development. It's a really good point. Uh, Alicia, should we be striving to connect as many things as possible to the Internet of Things? Well, I think that we are overcoming that part. In the beginning it was uh, the more sensors, the better, the more sensors, the smarter you are. And the trend that we are observing right now is that it's not about quantity, but about quality. So many of our customers are asking us to say, can you give us more accuracy and more quality in the sensors so that we can have sensors comparable to the professional weather stations or the water quality stations that, that we have. So it's about that. Alita, how can we ever safeguard the sheer volume of data collected by IoT products? Well, that's indeed not very sustainable if we keep adding and adding more devices. So uh, in line with what I was saying is that uh, we need more complicated and more sophisticated end devices. So ideally we will have more power performance on those end devices so we will be able to make decisions quicker and we will need to have all the data going to the cloud to be analyzed from the top and then make decisions on the, on the, on the bottom. What do you think the future looks like with IoT becoming more and more prevalent? Well, I think that uh, I will say that the biggest legacy of IoT will be more democracy. And that's because if we are in a culture that's outlining and remarking the use of data, the use of KPIs and, and rational information, and we translate that into our cities, we will be able to analyze the behavior of our politicians in a more rational and clever way. So it'd be nice if we were able to vote based on real results, just results, and not according to political or marketing campaigns. That happens to be the same, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, absolutely. And Lisa, just one very last question. What would you say to those individuals who haven't been able to attend IP Expo today and are thinking of coming next year? What would you say to those people? Well, I would say that this is a great place to have an, ex uh, an executive summary of the IoT. Uh, I think that there, most of the hot topics about this, like security, interoperability, and even ethics and social impact of the IoT are being covered. So I think it's, it's worth to spend two days here and not months on, on, the, on the internet browsing yourself. Absolutely. Alicia, thank you ever so much. That's Alicia Asin Perez, the co-founder and CEO of Livellium, speaking to us here. I'm Emma Boyle and this is Cloud Moves TV.